because what I've always done in the past was you get 60 seconds, yep. 30 seconds for each person. Everybody's not the most outgoing person, so that helps out people that are kind of scared yeah. to meet with people. So everybody, you take 30 seconds, you tell a little bit about it, your little elevator speech. People might not understand it, you know, when you sit up here and talk about it, but a little personal thing might understand, it might click. And then you just move to the next seat, it's like musical chairs. And it's 30 seconds for that next person. But at least you get to meet with everybody, and that way you're not forced, you know, we're worried about meeting with them. So that's what I like about it. It forces everybody to meet, and then we get everybody's card. So that's why I love about it. Awesome. So, so that, and that's exactly where we're going. Yeah. And I included, we're not going to read the slides, but you can take them back. There's some tips in here. Mm -hmm. One thing that I think is extremely important, and I learned this, you know, by um, failing myself sometimes and getting better at it, is actively listening. Focusing on not only telling your story and making it pointed, but also listening and engaging in the other person's story or what they're doing. So there's that active listening part that's extremely important because then you build credibility, you build a relationship, and then you never know. We put this out yet, you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> and unless you give that other person an opportunity to tell you something that you don't know, you're never going to know it. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so it's an opportunity that 